Well, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And one of the biggest reasons almost half of the survivors will delay leaving their abuser is because they can't keep their pet, and I so understand this. Yeah, I would agree. Journalist and talk show host Tamron Hall is here to tell us about the Purple Leash Project. Tamron, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Caitlin and Scott, thanks for having me. Oh, my God, you're so beautiful, first of all. I just want to point that out. I can't go on without saying that. <laughs> and congratulations on all Thank your you. success. You're just a wonderful, wonderful person. And you're top a notch top notch journalist. Yes. Uh, Edward R. Murrow Awards, the whole nine yards. But we want to talk about the Purple Leash Project today. Talk to us more about this wonderful thing. You know, um, Scott, I got involved a few years ago. I've been a journalist for 30 years, and thank you so much for the kind words, by the way. You've got me blushing here. <laughs> I've uh, been a journalist for 30 years, and I've reported on domestic violence. I've done stories, and then a few years ago, opened up about my sister and, and the fact that she died in a home where there was domestic violence. What I didn't know, Scott and Caitlin, is that, as you pointed out, half of the people who are in homes where there is domestic violence don't leave or delay leaving because they can't bring themselves to leave their pets behind. You can't see there's an empty spot right next to me because my dog Exodus is here with me on location. And, and this is my son's first dog, but a dog that is our family. This is, I cannot imagine leaving her behind. Mm -hmm. And to think that there are people watching right now who want to escape homes where there's violence, but can't leave their pets behind is why this project came to life. So Purina and Red Rover right now have the target of 25%, 25% by 2025 of the shelters in the country becoming equipped to take in family pets. So that means, you know, kennels and cat bridges, all the things that cats love, all the things that dogs love, and veterinary services be provided to survivors of domestic violence. They've already given out 34 grants, around $700,000, to help shelters prepare for pets and provide a safe space for them. And so I'm in it, and we're going to continue the journey. I've got a little bit of purple on here. Exodus has her purple leech. I'm going to bring her up here just because we're live. She probably won't do it, Caitlin and Scott, but prepare yourself for cuteness. <laughs> Come on. That's it. Sit. Oh, my goodness. Good girl. <laughs> what a good girl. Look at her with her purple That's leash. That's her one on. trick. That's her one trick. <laughs> now she wants she more treats. Needs, Tamara, but she is a bird of doodle. She's seven months old. And I can't imagine leaving her behind. And right. so we don't want any family to have to experience that. And that's why we ask you to go to purpleleashproject.com and learn more information. Well, you know what? You're exactly right. I, we've, we're pet owners pet and owners, pet, yeah, lovers, pet lovers. And people who have pets, just like you said, know that they are part of your family. And yeah. you, I mean, you can tell me, but I think when there's yeah. some sort of domestic violence, there's probably also a little bit of animal abuse as well. So you want to make sure yes. that there's probably a safe space for those animals to go, as well as the people involved in just horrific situations. Where can people go to help mm. with this cause and help spread awareness, especially yeah. this month? Yeah, go to, you know, uh, as I said, purpleleashproject.com. And Caitlin, you make the excellent point of that. Many times abusers will threaten the family pet. We've done stories on these people mm -hmm. who do awful things to pets mm -hmm. as a part of their retaliation and their revenge against survivors who want to leave. So it's, it's to protect the pet, to get them out of the home, but also provide a safe space for them at different shelters around the country. But go to purpleleashproject.com if you also want to show solidarity. I just posted a picture of Exodus and my son Moses and myself, um, you know, sharing the word about Purple Leash. And, and people like you who are pet owners or pet lovers who understand the importance of this so thank you so much for your time today all right we're oh, out of time you. but I love the fact that you wore Lena Horn's jacket that you got from an estate oh. sale the day you signed your today's I show own contract. I own it. I own it. you got to come and visit me and see my show. I might let you wear the jacket. Oh, oh, perfect. Yes. Scott, I don't Fantastic. know. Thank you, Tamron. <laughs> Tamron you're a delight. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you guys. <laughs>